welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. Hi. Yet again, this is Drew. Needs a haircut, uh, but don't we all? Um, today I have an unboxing for Universal Yums. If you're not familiar with the subscription, it is a box of snacks from around the world. And every month they do uh, choose a different place and everyone gets the same box. I think last, this past month was Scandinavia, or maybe that was the other one, I don't remember. But anyway, we just got this for the first time, so I do believe every first order or first subscription, you automatically get the UK, which you can kind of see here. It says the a land of many Harrys. Wait, what's the like, second Harry? Who, what was the second Harry? I don't know. I'm shocked. Who, who, who do you know that's a Harry from the UK? Harry Potter. And? Rinse. Harry. Uh, yes. Okay. That's so like nothing like what, uh, Rinse. Look no, at this. You're, Look right. At this. you're right. What is that? that? Okay, fine. Okay. But anyway. Okay. So there's three different subscriptions you can get. Uh, one is the Yum Box, and that is six or more snacks for $13.75, uh, and it is free shipping to the United States. Uh, the next one is Yum Yum Box, and that one is $22.92 a month. And then there is the Super Yum Box, which has 20 or more snacks and is $35.75. I don't think I said how many snacks were in the Yum Yum Box, and that could be 12 or more. Um, we have the Yum Box, so we get the six or more. And here's honestly why I decided to get this box is because, and I guess I've not mentioned this, I am a middle school family and consumer sciences teacher. And I one of the elements, <laughs> one of the elements that we discuss uh, or talk, talk about in the program are cultures uh, from around the world, especially through food. And um, I actually used the Universal Yum's box in October, they had a, a special Halloween like um, sample box of different candies from around oh, the world. That was that. Yes, and so see, um, and my son and my students uh, really loved that. And I devoured it. Yes, it was fun to try and to try different things from around the world, and I think that really is a great way to kind of broaden your scope of cultures from around the world is obviously through food or you know snacks so that's really why I've kind of gravitated to this box and hopefully I can keep it up and if we do go back to school uh, in the fall I can use this as part of my program as well and if we don't I'll show it online and something so very exciting is today yeah. the first day of summer uh, technically technically is the first day of summer for us um, teachers are supposed to go back or do one more day on Monday but um, Virtually. So anyway, very virtually. Like, all right, so let's get into this box and see what we have. All right, so first thing up, we have a card. So what do we have there, Drew? So we have a card uh, explaining where all the stuff is from mm -hmm. and like interesting facts about where they're from. Let me show it, there you go. And I get, right here already, this is why I like this box, because I'm able to, uh, you know, kind of talk about the different uh, areas of the, each country and ooh, why they're uh, exciting and uh, all the kind of cool facts about them. In fact, the UK is where I would love to go if we ever travel again. Um, I would love to go to the UK, especially um, England. I know he's a Liverpool fan and he and his dad are Liverpool fans and would love to go uh, see some soccer there. Um, but it, okay, on the back they have um, a scorecard, so I assume that the bigger boxes have a larger scorecard. Then it also talks about, um, oh interesting, there are um, United Kingdom rejects, <laughs> so <laughs> things that didn't end up in the box. And um, basically saying here, would you have tried them? So the three that are retro corn, li lemon and lime sherbet. it's popcorn with fizzy Lime, lemon lime seasoning. Uh, would you have eaten that? Is it, is it, it's not in the box, it's a reject. So would you have eaten it? Busy. Yeah, I would eat oh, that. Okay. Uh, Mackey's Aberdeen Angus Crisps. Absolutely Scottish, not. Scottish uh, no. beef potato chips. No, no? Okay. And Krill, <laughs> Krilly's Black Currant and Licorice. Black Currant Hard Candies with Licorice. Oh, 
Sorry. Why? Where I don't like licorice. No, we'll no, give no. Us to dad uh, yeah, he likes, time. my husband likes licorice. Okay, so then it says vote on an um, upcoming box. Vote on an upcoming box. Where should we go next? Let's decide together. Mark the country below you'd most like to visit, then start packing. I don't think, I mean, you could probably go on their Instagram and, in fact, I know they're very, very uh, into social media, so you can go to their Instagram or Facebook or things like that and see what they're doing. Okay. And they'll give you the preview. But you can see they have Netherlands, Italy, and Germany. If it was up to me, I would probably want either Italy or Netherlands. Because, yes. like, Italy is, like, the Italian stuff and, like, mm -hmm. pizza and, like, spaghetti and stuff. But I don't think that's going to fit in all that. No. But Netherlands has, like... I'm not sure what they have, but it's an interesting country. Okay. So that's what could be coming. But, again, I know they're very active on social media, and they'll let you know uh, what is coming out next. And, again, everyone gets the same box after this initial one. So this is the initial box of the U.K., and then next month we should be back with everybody else uh, into what they're getting. Oh. So isn't this cool? So you get a little booklet, and it says, Off we go to the United Kingdom. Look at this. I mean, come on. Whoa. It talks about... All the cool things you would see. So there's the UK in 60 seconds. How to make a cottage pie, a UK classic. Read that. Yeah. There's a trivia challenge. We can play this later. Um, there's. Oh, whoa, 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 um, then you can see, oh, oh this is cool. Connect the UK author in the column one to their book in column two. Then match the book in the column then, two to the character. That's fun. And there's cool. the one about music. And then there's the music. I Wait, oh, this is from the UK. I guess so. And then there's the yum shop. So you can visit their shop online and um, kind of see some of the things you could purchase uh, through there. <laughs> then also... Oh, coconut meringues or pineapple juice? Pineapple. That's a, that does look good. That's from Brazil. Uh, but then it says, where, or do you want to know where you're going next? And again, you can visit their social media and, um, again, Instagram or Facebook, and they'll tell you um, a clue, and then they'll officially tell you where they're going next month. So it's kind of fun. So let's get into what we're doing here. Again, mm -hmm. We're not going to open all these because that's a lot of open food, but maybe okay. you can try, I try something. One, something. something. Okay, so let's start with this one, and then we can talk. Oh, that's actually heavy. Oh, all my. All right, so, so these are the Mackey's Honey and Mustard Potato Crisps. Your dad would probably like this. These are honey mustard potato chips. Um, and... I'll just kind of read here that, yeah, this was just talking about kind of the history of the potato chips in the UK and things like that. Um, okay. so but your dad would love these. You know how in Doritos it goes to like the half line and like chips? This is like the brim. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like to the brim. This it's is full. The, this is like the um, shit. And, you know, obviously because we're at this, you know, we're getting this in the United States, they'll put a, a nutrition fact sticker over it of what we have to do uh, from the yeah, FDA. Yeah, like, they have to, like... Right. Like they have different... Well, they have different regulations in other countries, and it's also might be in other languages, depending upon where you're getting this from. But, um... Yeah. Okay, these are from Scotland. Oh, okay. So, these are, these are from Scotland. Yeah. So, we'll let Dad try those. Yeah. I think Dad, you know, Dad would be upset yeah, if Yeah, Dad lo loves, like, the Like, honey mustard, yeah. honey mustard. Okay, I want... I'm, I'm not going to eat these, but what? I think you so. Lamb these, and mint. These you are... Guys see this? Lamb these, and mint. These are the Welsh potato crisps, lamb and mint. Um, they're very sticky. Like, look, sticky? They're, they're sticky. I don't... I think it's just the same. So it says, yeah, made from potatoes born and raised in Wales. So that is pretty cool. Okay, now hold on. I was mistaken. It says suitable for vegetarians. So, there must not be actually any lamb in here, just this flavor. So, yeah, potatoes, uh, lamb and mint seasoning. So, apparently, it is not actual lamb, but just more of seasoning. I still don't think I would like nope. these. You're not going to eat these? No. I don't know. I don't like, I don't. You've I, never had lamb. I, I mean, I I'm not going to let you have lamb, but. Maybe You're not going to let me have lamb. <laughs> well, I don't know. But if Dad doesn't eat these, I think you should try them and just try it. 
Because again, you can vote. Like remember, you get to vote and you get to say here which was your least favorite. Right. And then, oh, I should say, they do put up a survey each month after everyone's received their boxes. They put it up and they say, okay, now it's time to vote. And you can actually vote on social media as to what is your favorite um, product or your okay. least favorite product. Wait, can I pick out the next Okay, go ahead. Uh -oh. oh. Okay. No, I think bag. this is I think this is like individual little pieces. So this is the yum yeah, bag, I which I think are little pieces of something. Yep. You're right. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's three. Oh, oh, oh four. Careful. There's four. Wait, wait. Okay. So first we have this. Here, let's start with these. These are the Bristow's Sherbert Lemons. They look so okay. cute, like actual lemons. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hang try on. Those. We can try one right now. Hang on. Fizzy lemon hard candies. Um, and... Wait, didn't we have this what? during the Halloween thing? No. Oh. We didn't know. These were Maybe they look like them, but no. Um, so... We're getting these from Bristow, but I'm trying to figure out... It doesn't say... It just says Bristow. Um, I'm trying to find out if there's anything else. Okay, so it just says, yeah, you already know about Sherbert. It's a... Or some people say it's, it's Sherbert or... There, I, I've always said it's Sherbert, Sherbert. or Sherbert. 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 I don't know. Sherbert. Anyway, it's an essential, colorful, fruity ice cream-like dessert. But as this section teases, there's a different meaning in the UK. Oh, their Sherbert is the name of a fizzy powder found inside many of many tangy candies, such as these zingy lemons. Huh. The okay. more you know. Okay. So that you want, you're going to try that one? Yeah. Or are you going to wait? Oh, no. Can I wait until the next yes. one? Yes. Okay, so this one is also Bristow's, and this is the Bucks Fizz Chews. That's pretty. Bucks? Bucks Fizz Chews. It's a fizzy orange and champagne chew. Okay, first of all. I don't think it's actually champagne. Wait, maybe. Let's read. There's nowhere better to grab a drink than in London. Why? Well, it's home to 1,327 bars. <laughs> uh, the most of any city in the world. There's a trivia question. Uh, it's also where the Bucks Fizz, a beloved cocktail made from two parts champagne, maybe, and one part orange juice was invented in 1921. Yeah, I was going to say that's mimosas. It says right, four years before the mimosas in Paris. So there you go. Uh, maybe I'll start calling them Buck Fizz, Bucks Fizz. Uh, when it comes to chewy Buck Fizz candy, don't worry if you're not over 21. Not, not because the UK drinking age is 18, but because oh, this yes, because this chew contains zero actual bubbly. It only has 100% citrusy distillation. So there's no actual champagne. The, we, there's like champagne gummies that we have here that I've eaten before. And again, there's no champagne. It just has that sensation oh, taste yeah. of champagne. You were in a wedding once, and um, I remember. Okay. And you and let had, me try. Oh, because there's no champagne in it. It just tastes like it. So... Which one are you gonna try? Lemon or the orange? I try both. Both? I, I, well, I would think you might wanna try, is this one chewy? Yeah, this one's chewy, that one's not. Okay. Uh, I'll so, try this one. He's gonna have a Buck's Fizz first. So we're gonna see what he, say, what he thinks. Wow! <laughs> what is it? First I'll of try all, it later. It's very chewy. Chewy. Second of all. What flavors are you getting? A lot of champagne. A lot of champagne. Like a, a kind of bit, like a dry. It's not dry. What? what it's you... like, it's like explodes in your mouth. <laughs> okay, well, there is no champagne, so we know that. Just the flavor, and then I guess orange citrus, so you like it? Yeah. Okay, you're not going to try the lemon one? Oh, please. Or you want to wait a minute? No. He's right. going to go for it. That's a fizzy lemon hard candy. Okay. Yeah? Lemony? Not very, like, that lemony. Wait a minute until it starts to dissolve, and then you can let us know. All right. Let's move going. on. Okay. Yeah. Let's, oh, this might be up your alley. Okay. <gasps> so, ooh. ooh, he says. Okay, so this is this is another pub thing. I don't know if, here, it says here that these are both pub items. So this one says this is the Johnny's Pickled Onion Rings. And it says they are pickled onion potato rings. So you're sitting at the bar enjoying your Bucks Fizz, and the bartender sets down a snack. What do you think it is? Peanuts? Nope. Fries? Nah. Onion rings? Close, but no. It's a p jar of pickled onions. Okay. 
He likes pickles. I don't know. I like so I love pickles. Munching these miniature malt vinegar marinated onions straight out of the jar is a timeless tradition in UK pubs. Okay. Dig into these addictive pickled onion inspired crisps to experience the intensely tangy tradition for yourself. That sounds good. So really I'm looking good. here. Corn, wheat flour, sodium, artificial flavors. Okay, so again, nothing like that you can't have and these are from the uk why couldn't i have them so i'm just saying if there was something in them that was weird um but no yeah you got this one here so pickled onion flavored corn snacks there you go okay they're fun all right so the next three here looks like all sweets so we did the chips and the crisps i guess they call them crisps right crisps. is it crisps because chips would be fries in the UK. Oh God. Yes, fries here are chips there, so I think they're called crisps. I think chips I'm are called crisps. I'm sorry if you're in the UK and you're watching this. What? It's she true. Doesn't get, she doesn't get the what? language. What? I'm sorry. What am I saying wrong? No, it's just. It's no, very, it's true. It's very cringy. Fri no, fries are are um, chips over there, and oh, our chips are crisps. I'm telling you. Okay. Anyway, moving on. This is what you get for working with an almost 13 year old. Okay. So let's see this one next. This is the Dean's ooh, Shortbread Rounds. You know, this would be good with. What? What would these be good with? Like your favorite thing right now. Oh, Nutella. Mm -hmm. Nutella. All right, so it says, this yum story takes us to rural Huntley, Scotland. Uh, it begins as many Scottish tales begin with bagpipes. So it tells you the history of this, kind of fun. So these are definitely from Scotland. I'm trying to see if it says on here. Yep, product of Scotland. And they're just light, crumbly shortbread rounds. They look good. This would be yummy. Again, with something like hazelnut spread, Nutella, or just some chocolate. I, and I'm sure people like dip them in tea and things that are coffee. Um, but they look good. Those look yummy. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, this would be fun. Wow. Interesting. Okay. This okay. is. What? I'm sorry. Do you want to hold it? I'm sorry. Just make sure you're showing it to everyone. <laughs> Okay, so this is um, from Yummy Banana Toffee. Yum. Uh, this is a banana, banana toffee bar, and this is from Derbyshire, Scotland. And I guess I should have figured this out, that you could start in a certain spot, and then it takes you around to these uh, different things. So this one here, again, says you might associate bagpipes with Scotland, but do you associate oh. bananas with England? You're about to. Centuries ago, a Jamaican banana known as Big Mike used to be eaten worldwide, but an 1890 banana disease destroyed all of them. Luckily, in Derbyshire, England, a local duke named William Cavendish cultivated a new disease-resistant banana, which we still eat to this day. If that's not enough to get the Banana Britain Association to, to stick, this, then this decadent, chewy toffee hey, ought to do the trick. What? It says right here, whack then and wrap then. Oh, and yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You hit it, and then it breaks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You hit it, and then it breaks, so you can actually take a piece and eat it. Um, and it says made with whole milk and Is butter. It damaged our table. <laughs> what do you mean it damaged our table? No, it didn't. Um, and so right here, yeah, this is, uh, this looks yummy. And I, what I like about this is I can have just like a piece of it and not feel too bad. And then have some more. I'm just trying to see, the, the nutrition facts are very tiny on this. So I need my reading glasses, but I mean, it's definitely full of sugar. But, um, butter and whole milk, so that looks really good. Would you try that with me later? Would you try the banana toffee? Maybe. I mean, I like toffee, I like bananas, and I like banana candy, wow. so this okay. should be good. All right, this is the last thing Next in the... Next we have... Wait, is this it? Yeah. Grandma okay. Wild's Toffee Flapjack. Wow. Okay, so this one says this is an oat bar with toffee, and this one says that one thing people in the U.S. and the U.K. have in common, their love of flapjacks. What's another word for a flapjack? I have no idea. You don't know? Toffee? No. What's another... What, what, are, the, what are flapjacks? I have no idea. Pancakes. Oh. Yeah, you love pancakes. I do. So, love well, sort of. You'd probably think of flapjacks as another word for pancakes, see? But in the UK, there's something completely different. So, once again, their, their flapjacks are made with oats, butter, brown sugar, and syrup, spread into a tray, baked, cut into bars, okay. and sometimes, this, if you're lucky, slathered with soft toffee. This, okay, this sounds like something you would definitely find mm -hmm. in Vermont. Oh. 
Could Cause be. Because I was in Vermont last <laughs> summer, and they had um, maple syrup cream creamsicles. It's so good. So this is this sounds phenomenal. I mean, I'm not a big maple uh, fan, but I don't think I'm getting maple from this. I just I think it's just like a syrup. So I love it, cause that I love is it. that is that sounds uh, amazing. Um, okay, yeah. So I figured this is much. The serving size is two. <laughs> okay, so you ha half the bar, half the the thing here is a serving. So that would mean that that's actually not that bad. One serving is 12 grams of sugar. So this whole thing would be 24. So that's a little high there. But if you and I split this, it wouldn't be that bad. I probably just want a, a bite of it anyway. But yeah, that's that looks so yummy. So that is everything in the box. We got a bunch oh, of sweets. And uh, by the way, the the lemons. Oh, oh did it finally it get fit, to the fizz? It fizz and just one. Yeah. So that's what he had. We had the two candies. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we had the two can or the candies in there. We had the sweet items, and then of course we had the crisps. Oh, crisps uh, here. So I think we're gonna let Dad try those. Are you gonna try these? The pickled onion. I might. Right. Yeah. And then I, I think we should try this and just see for me how they are. I don't want to try lamb and. <laughs> so okay, just out of just out of guessing, we haven't tried everything here. What would you rank probably the least exciting? Probably the least exciting. Um, or least least like ooh, I want to try this. Really? Not this one. Wait, I, yeah, this, this that would be my one, this is my low. Uh, a lot of these are the high. Two but, chip ones or. Yeah. I don't know. I think your dad's gonna like these, but then I don't know about this one. I'm not a lamb and. Oh, mince. there's also a uh, oh. yum shop. Yes, I said that before. So you can oh, go on yeah, and you can okay. buy these things. I'm kind of interested in this one from Brazil. It's these pineapple... Um, chews? Are yeah. they chews? Best sellers. They're chewy, yeah. Taste of Brazil. And there's cookies. All kinds of things here. So that looks Brian's good. Brian's favorite. Wait. So... Brian's, Brian's favorite. Oh, wait, these are people... With which food. means, yes, he wrote these very words. Well. Right. These are, Brian is the Universal Yum's copywriter. So I would love that job, by the way, to work for uh, a... Uh, Candy snack company yeah, yeah, yeah. doing all this stuff. I love that'd be amazing. Anyway, um, any predictions for next month's box? Where do you think we're going next out of, month? Out of these. Three. No, I don't know if this means anything because you have to remember, we're getting like the first box. Um, uh, like we're getting this the, the introductory box. We don't know. Um, where do you think? Now remember, there's Spain, they, Spain, Italy, or. Japan. Okay. So we'll have to come back and see if you're right. I'm going to see here. I want to make sure I'm right in saying this before we go off of here. Hang on. Where are you? Um, Universal Yums. Okay. So this past month was... Oh, wait. No. Look. It, it was Philippines. It was up there? It was Philippines? Yeah. It was Philippines. Yes. You are right. So... Um, Last month, or this this month, would be the Philippines, so which we, we did not get that one. So we'll have to see where we're going next month. But just to show you again, you can go on um, social media and you can vote for your favorites. So that's why I don't think we're going to get to be able to vote for the UK box. That's why I'm kind of asking. But um, we'll have to see where we go next month. Yeah. So those were your choices. We'll come back and see if you were right. Yeah. Did you like this box? I think so, too. I, I'm excited by this. And again... I, I love the fact that I can actually use this in my classroom, even. And the munch um, pack was a little, like, too sweet uh, for your class. Uh, we're <laughs> well, there's another box we won't mention here, but we already mentioned it. But uh, for this one, I think this was a better, <laughs> a better um, uh, value and a better uh, selection of items from a specific country. So I'm, I'm excited by it. So we're ready for next month. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. If you like what we see, if you like see your, uh, we'll link Universal Yums below. And please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.